Hey, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music and vinyl reviews. Today we're going to dive into some really cool, innovative gear for your turntable and records that's not going to break the bank. Stick around. Alright, so the first piece of gear I want to talk about is from a company called 12 Inch. I was in contact with them. I was blown away by the cool, innovative way that they came up with to display your records on the wall. So there's all kinds of different methods you can have from those little pins that you stick on each side of your record that keep it to the wall, to your little metal shelf displays, to custom solutions like I built, which is like a sliding rail system for my records. But what we have here is using magnets to display your records. Essentially these things just float on the wall. It's extremely easy to set up. They're about 20 bucks per display. So I have two products from 12 inch I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, each of them are pretty similar. One, you can display the record with the sleeve. The other is more designed for records you want to hang on the wall without the sleeve. So here we have the standard 12 inch magnetic system and what comes in this is a really cool case, first of all. And it says this is your vinyl on the wall. We have the insert that you put inside your record sleeve right here, which is magnetic. It's not very thick, it's thinner than a standard record. And we have your wall mount. So this piece here has a single screw hole in it and it comes with a drywall screw right here. What you're going to do is drill this into the wall, stick this inside your sleeve, and that's all you do. The next piece of gear we're going to look at is from 12 inch again and this is for displaying picture discs, rare records, something that you want on the wall without a sleeve. Alright so let's see this in action. What we have here is the mounting plate and the drywall screw it comes with. Extremely easy. What we're going to do is mount it directly to the wall in the desired spot that you're looking for. That easy. Took what, what, two seconds? All right, now that we have the mount on the wall, what you're gonna do is remove the protective uh, film that's gonna come on the insert. We're gonna stick this inside of one of my record sleeves. So today I chose uh, Gunship Dark All Day. What we do is just simply insert it into the sleeve. And for gate folds, since they do open up, you're gonna to wanna to put this inside a poly sleeve so it stays together. So we have it like so. We have the magnetic insert inside the sleeve. We have the mount on the wall, and all you do is press it against the wall, make sure it's centered, and you let go, you're done. It's that easy. Now you can pull it off, you run the risk of bending the outer sleeve. So I always simply either slide down or to the left or the right, and it comes right off. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a single sleeve. Same thing, you take your insert, you put it directly into the sleeve. Now with the single sleeve, you don't need to have a poly sleeve on the outside to keep it together because there's no gatefold, it's not gonna fly open. Once the magnetic insert is in there, same thing, you just put it against the wall, you center the record. So what we can do is we can take the, uh, the disc display, the one that displays your records without the sleeve, you can use the same type of mount you simply stick it directly onto the wall. So for this record, there is some beautiful artwork on here, um, but it's easy to center the record or change the orientation of the artwork. And let's say I wanna flip it over and display the other side. Simply slide off, you unscrew it, you fold it around, you re-screw on the top, remount the record and you're done. Uh, each one of the sleeves, if you flip it over, it comes with this measuring tool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to equally space each one of your records using this tool here. And I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this just a little bit, like so, just so there's a little bit of space for you to stick that uh, measuring guide inside. And we're going to take the measuring guide, we're gonna slide it behind like this until it lines up. I'm then going to tighten this against the wall a little bit, so it kind of stays on its own. And then once we align and find exactly where we want to be, it says place the next 12 inch magnet here. So what I'm going to do is just press into the wall, leave a little indent like I did here. We can go ahead and slide this out now. We can take our second mount. All right, so now we're going to screw right into where I marked. All right, so now that I have these equally spaced using the provided guide, I can with confidence know 
I can put the records on the wall and that they will be equally spaced apart like so. This takes the guesswork out of measuring. I can also mix and match what type of display I want to do here. If I want to display the actual record itself on one and the sleeve on the other, I can't. So this was 12 inch, the magnetic display system for your wall. I was pretty impressed by it, highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second piece of gear I want to talk about in this video. It's called TableMates. Now what TableMates is, is an isolation system for your turntable. So what this does is each one of these go underneath your turntable feet, whether you have three or four, it will isolate your turntable from external vibrations, whether it is from like doors closing, uh, if your turntable is close to your subwoofer, this should dampen the vibrations and increase the audio quality. These are not very expensive, they're really easy to use, and we're gonna go ahead and dive in and show you a demo right now. All right, so for this demo, I have this older Maxell, uh, <laughs> I guess you could call it rock sampler record that we're gonna be using for this. Uh, test one is going to be vibration, right? So let's check vibration before we even put the record on. It's spinning. I am recording the audio, so. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the record on. Do you hear that? I reach my hand. And I'm barely, I'm barely tapping the surface here. Alright, so let's go ahead and close the lid. Again, barely tapping. It's obvious that this thing is skipping every time I barely tap the surface here. Um, and another issue could be if we have too much bass coming in, right? All right, so let's go ahead and put the stabilizers on and see if it improves in any way. All right, now we have the table mates installed, the stabilizers are on. Let's go ahead and run that test one more time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same pressure across here and see if it still skips. I mean, I'm watching the needle wobble with the table mates on, so I mean, it is absorbing some of the impact. There we go. So, I mean, definitely in the center is much better. I mean, I noticed a slight improvement. It wasn't like night and day for me. Um, I do know it definitely will help with bass response. If you have heavy bass, this should break apart some of the vibrations that come from a subwoofer. Uh, just some things to keep in mind. This elevates your turntable about an inch and a half. So if you're in a tight space like mine, uh, it's not ideal. Uh, if your turntable has nothing above it, I mean, it's not a big deal. It is gonna be elevated a little bit. Another thing to keep in mind too is these aren't attached to your turntable. Your turntable's rusting on them. So the weight of your turntable will keep these in place. But overall, I mean, it's a good value. I think these are about $20 to buy new. Uh, it'll break up some of the vibrations that come through on the turntable surface. It depends on what kind of surface you guys have and what you're playing your records on. Uh, but for me, I did notice an improvement on the vibrations. Uh, audio quality wise, I mean, you couldn't hear through my speakers what I heard, uh, but I didn't notice too big of a difference audio quality wise, other than what I mentioned. There's a little less feedback because the bass response is broke up with the uh, isolation. All right, so that was the gear review for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, check out 12 inch, I'm gonna put a link below, and check out Table Mates. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a subscribe, check out my other videos. If you didn't enjoy it, oh well. See you guys next time.